now we are dealing with the bonding of the grade 8 and grade 9. For us to start, we are still going to start with the atomic structure. The structure of an atom, we have an atom. Remember, we are saying that is an atom, that we have no problem with it. Then, we have to talk about the subatomic structure of an atom, where I got a new letter. We say it is pen, which stands for proton or protons, electrons, and neutrons. We have them here. We are normally, I'll say, in the nucleus, we find the protons and neutrons. Then we just write the small p, n, and p, n. Why are we writing p with a plus? And the p with a plus. The p with a plus here, we are showing the electron electronic charge. So we say this one is positively charged, which will have a plus. Electrons are negatively charged, which will have a, a minus. Let me remove this. Then we have a neutron, no charge. Here, our, here is our subatomic structure of an atom. Like we are saying, in the nucleus, I get it? remember, it always have to have a, a nucleus. In the nucleus, in the nucleus, that's where you are going to find a protons. I'll just make two of them like this. We have our nucleus. The nucleus contains the protons. Remember, we said protons the neutrons they have no charge electrons in this small one now our atom has to have what we call energy level the energy level or the shells you may have one shell here you may have another one here you may have another one here these are our electric our electron shells or energy levels now we have seen where we find the protons and the neutrons they are found in the in the nucleus now where do we get our electrons we find that our electrons are found on the shells we have one like this maybe here like this we just have one here there we have them remember we talked about we have to know by heart the first 20 elements we have to know the first 20 elements yeah after doing dealing with this one now we can talk about the let us just see here. We can talk about the atomic structure. Atomic structure. Atomic structure that will of protons, electrons, and neutrons that we found in the nucleus. Then we have the electrons on the atmosphere. Let us see. We have to talk about the atomic numbers. The atomic number, atomic number, the atomic mass. But because we are talking about the bonding, like we are saying, we want to deal with bonding, we are going to concentrate more on the atomic number. From our periodic tables, we have them, the atomic number, the total number of protons, which is equal to the total number of electrons. Now let us move on and see how do we form bonding. I'm just going to remove some of this. Uh, 
Uh, we are going to talk about ionic bonding. Ionic bonding is the one that we are going to deal with, which relates, translates to the bonding between metals and non metals. Here you will see that we are going to have our metal bonded together with a non metal. Uh, from our periodic table, we have group 1 up to group 8. Now we have this group circulated well. We have group 1 up to group 8. This ionic bonding, we are going to see that the metal, the either metal or non-metal is going to lose or gain electrons. Lose or gain electrons. Or electron. Normally, that's why I write S in a in the bracket because you may use one electron or two electrons or gain two or one electrons. So what are we saying now? We are going to lose and we are going to gain. You will see that metals, are we going to lose gain, lose or gain electrons? This is what is going to happen. Let us see how we do it. You will find that is it possible for you to lose one electron or gain three electrons, couple gain four electrons? Why are we doing the losing and gaining, by the way? You will see that we are looking for our atoms to behave like group eight elements because we are saying that this one are stable or they have a a full outermost shell. Let us look at them. This one from for group eight elements. You will find that we have N E neon. If I remember, it has ten electrons. So its atomic number will be ten. Its electronic configuration, you find that it will be like 2, 8. So what are we saying? We want all these elements from group 1 up to group 7 to behave like this one. Like all elements in group 8. They should have a full outermost shell cap or they should be stable. We find that, let us talk about helium. If I remember one, it has 2. So that means it has two electrons on its outermost shell. This is why we are saying they should be behave like group 8 elements. This one. They should behave like group 8 elements. What are we saying? We are saying that if this one, let us make an example of elements in group 1. We may have sodium with an electron, uh, atomic number 11 which in return we are going to say its electronic configuration is 2, 8, and 1. Harishe, is it going to gain or lose? In typical Suzuki fashion, you have one cow. The Demokitin has seven cows. So is it possible for you to give Nadem Kitim one or Nadem Kitim to give you seven of these. So that means the logic thing is you give me one. Get off your name, give my fees in the meantime, I'll be getting it later. Come out with it in a month. So what are we seeing? The automatical that says we are going to lose one electron. This one is going to be lost. That means another atom is going to gain this one. 
So how do we draw it now? Let us show it. How do we draw it? Let us show it now. We are losing and gaining electrons. Like this one. Now we have our sodium 11. So we know first thing first you should draw your nucleus. The first shell, the second shell and the last shell. So here it is, Kituinana. Then we have our second shell, which is going to have eight. This one. And the last shell will have one. Well, we are going to show now that it is going to lose its electron. Once it is like this, we call it an atom, remember. It is an atom. Now it has lost its electron. Remember, again, we said that it has two, eight, and one. Now it is going to lose its electron. How, how is it going to appear after losing this electron? Have one, two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now it is like this. Now it's in only two and eight. We now call it an ion because it has lost an electron. Haribona, uh, how do we say that? And we are going to give it a name like this. A name like this. We have seen that it has 11 protons and 11 electrons. They are equal. But here we see that we still have 11 protons. But now we have 10 electrons. That means it has to have one more proton. That's why now its name is like this. It has, it has been, it is a charged atom. Once we say it's a charged atom, it means we call it a ion. That is for, uh, we have seen that this one, uh, in group one, they are going to lose one electron. So what about group two? This one we are saying, this one it is going to lose an electron. What about elements in group two? For them to have eight, that means they can either gain six or lose two. And the easier one is that they should lose two. Because it is easier for them to lose two rather than to gain six. So we will find that now this one is going to have plus 2. This one, yeah, group 7, it is easier for, for group 3, so it is easier for it to lose 3 electrons rather than gain 5 electrons. Uh, you cannot give me your 5 sweets unless I have 3. It is better for you to give me your 3 and I have 8 and you have nothing. So now this one is going to lose 3. I'm going to skip this one in group 4. I'm going to skip it in the meantime and move on to group 5. Again, we are saying that they are losing and gaining. So group 5 only needs 3 electrons to be stable or to behave like group 8 elements. So it is going to have 3 more electrons. And let us see what about group 6. For it to have 8 electrons, it is going to gain 2 more electrons. Obviously, group 7 it is going to gain an electron. What about this one that we have left out? Group 4. What is going to happen to it in group 4? It is equal. It has to gain 4. It has to lose four. So the best way for the, for you to do is what you have four. I have four. 
we combine them together and we share them. In that way, we are saying this one, it is going to share electrons. That means it can, the other one can gain four or can lose four. Or the other one can gain, this one is going to gain because it has a negative, it has more electrons than the other one. So it's either sharing, gaining, or losing. So instead of, this one instead of losing, it is going to share their electrons together. I think we are done for the day. Parents, let's do more for our children. We have started. We challenge you to partner us. Make sure the kids follow for a better Lesotho. Remember, it is important to get the updates as soon as every time we have a program. When you subscribe, you will always get the fresh updates of our programming. And do hold your questions. We guarantee they will be answered.